Welcome back, everybody, to Caravan of Garbage, where we're zooming our way, zip zap zoom, Mason. Oh, yes. Through the fast and furious French saga. We're driving Mr. Sunday off what? a cliff. Oh, no. Yeah, this, I'm afraid so. Is this it? Maybe. In terms of quality, or like, is this the last video? What do you mean? I mean, literally, get in the car. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, leave a like, everybody. I'm getting in the we car. We go to the 12 Apostles. Famous, uh, famous Australian landmark. We're driving off. A Most cliff. of them have fallen into the water, Mason. Perfect time, then, you ask me. You're probably right. What's uh, interesting and I feel like deceptive about Furious Six? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Well, it was marketed as such, but it's technically called Fast and Furious Six. Okay. Yeah. We'll turn the Furious up to six. Whoa. And they're like, isn't there more to go on that dial? No, this is a special <laughs> dial. Goes to six. <laughs> six is the maximum. <laughs> Uh, I feel like this one is deceptive because it starts out like it's going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Like it's got that recap of what happens. Mm. And then there's like nine of them walking towards the camera. Yeah, incredible. It's like, I don't think, is this, is this a bad one? Turns out. That's, it's okay. It's, it's a pretty a, good one, It's I a pretty all right. It's okay. Yeah. Mm. It's I not their best work. This is Ben who's editing this. Oh, this yeah. is his favorite one. Interesting. I think five is better than this, but there's a lot mm. of good stuff here, uh, mm. which we will get to. This, I think, though, is the, the because the last one was obviously the first big heist movie. Yeah. This one is, is, is the beginning of... Hey, we've got to get a thing. It's in a briefcase. Yeah. It's a chip it's, that can do a thing. It's going to take down some, something or someone. <laughs> You can control all the things or hack all the things. I think it's a virus of the mind. You think? Or of the moon. Oh, you think the woke mind virus was in the case? <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Can't let it get out. Yeah, well. Which is not my favourite genre of things. Yeah, when no. it's like, oh, my God, they could, they could, it could affect the whole world. I don't care anymore. Yeah. You know? I was going to take down... The banks, is it, or whatever? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There'll be no internet for a bit. All right. Can we still drive our regular gas-powered cars? Yes. Why would it matter to us then? <laughs> Take down all the databases that have us on them and yeah. enable people to track us down, like the authorities. Great, don't care. <laughs> don't care at all. I feel like though this one's got themes, Mason. Go on. Uh, it's about love. Family? Yeah, it's just nice. short. Yeah, that's obviously the base level, but then beyond <laughs> okay, that, right, yes. we've got love oh. and we've got moving on, but not too much. And yeah. I say moving on because we say goodbye to Leo and Santos. They're just like, I don't know, they're, mm. they're, they run a, I don't know, they run a, like a balloon animal stall. Who cares? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, Paul Walker's having a baby. He's mm. moving on. Love and fatherhood. He's not. Ha he's had a baby. Yeah. He's not having a baby. No, he's not having the baby. Mm. And then, of course, we've got Vin Diesel, who's found love for now because you he's about I, to find another love. You know what I like about <laughs> his all these... old love, Mason Michelle Rodriguez. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I like about all these videos? We're just using all the character and actor names completely interchangeable. <laughs> it's Vin and Brian. <laughs> Vin and Brian are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so Letty's alive. Mm. It would be funny yes. if Hobbs had just photoshopped those pictures of Letty and then as soon as uh, Vin Diesel got you know, on American soil, he just went, yeah, you're under arrest. That was a trick. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to give you some time to escape and then I was going to come after you and yeah, that yeah. time has lapsed. Mm. Hence you are going to prison. Oh, it's uh, I've written here. It's, it's a tech bomb. I oh. wrote that down as I was watching it because I knew I would forget. Okay. But now that I read that, I don't what know does that what that mean? means. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You know what's interesting about this? What's that? There's a Bizarro Fast and Furious team. Mm, they're all, of a sort, they're sure. They're British. Mm. There's Bizarro Vin Diesel. Mm. Uh, Vin Crumpet. Vin London Bridge. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Vin London Eye. Mm -hmm. uh, Vin Helen Mirram. No, that's a, no she's, she's actually in later. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vin um, Greggs. <laughs> The shop, the, yeah, the, the shop, yeah, yeah. The yeah, shop, yeah. yeah. But uh, I, also, yeah. there's a bad guy that's bigger than The Rock. Who just looks like oh, a yeah. visual effect. <laughs> yeah. I, he fascinates me, that guy. <laughs> Enormous man. Yeah, he should be fighting Spider-Man. I don't know what mm. he's doing in these movies, Mason. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but you know what I do like about this Bizarro Fast and Furious team is... Go on. They bring some stuff. They bring some tech. They've got a, a race car that's also a ramp. Even mm. Brian gets out you know? That's right. And there's a moment where Hobbs has to bring in the family. He has to bring in the Fast and Furious team. He doesn't want to. Because he's like... The, you guys are the only match for these guys, and 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 they they put their brains trust together, and they're like, they must have made those cars in a custom shop. <laughs> oh, you reckon? Those weird Mad Max jalopies that have got spring loaded ramps on them? They didn't buy those at the local bloody the bloody bloody the Greggs, the Skoda dealership or whatever. Is that you reckon? Is that your expert opinion? You yeah, guys? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. That's my opinion also. Mm, so okay, yeah, that's I, great. I thought a similar thing. Mm. Yeah. Also, the, the the evil team, the British team. Yeah. Goes without saying, they're the evil team. Obviously. Mm. Obviously, if they're the British team. They're, they're very smart and skilled in a lot of ways, but on another level, dumbest villains that these guys have ever faced. I'd like to, you to give me at least one example. Here's one example. Uh, they brought Letty on the team. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, she's not British. That's a big mistake. Big mistake. Yeah. She's as American as apple pie and um, that car that Vin John Cena. Yeah. There you go. Those two things. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, and uh, she's got no memory, obviously, because yep. of the thing that happened that I have no memory of. And uh, uh, But then photos surface of her with Vin Diesel <gasps> and they're just like, yeah, let's keep her on the team anyway. Yeah. It's probably fine. It's probably nothing. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> the thing that happens. Luke yeah, the thing Evans. That happens. Come on, man. Yeah, come on, Luke Evans. What are you doing? I also enjoy, uh, I thought there was going to be a moment, you know, where it kind of happened, but it's just this movie where Tyrese turns to like the joke, fun, butt of jokes character. Mm. It's just this entire movie. The whole thing is just like people making fun of him, how cheap he is, his penis, his like big forehead. <laughs> These are all things that they're just like... They just mm. they just pile on at this point. He was they, a cool. Maybe he was a cool guy. They bring him into a room. They do they do an in- intervention on him. <laughs> a you're not a cool guy intervention. They bring out the big notepad and they're like, listen, your penis, <laughs> your big forehead, your cheapness, you're very cheap. Yeah, stupid. Yeah. In many ways, maybe maybe he decides to lean into it from this movie forwards. He's like, yeah. I'll show you how stupid I can be. <laughs> I'll show you how big my forehead can be. I'll show you my weird penis. <laughs> the only guy who gets like a you know, more of a bad rap is the stuffy British guy who they mm. make undress in front of them. James, you know, I'm building a list, of course, of guys in this in these movies that might come back in a subsequent movie for revenge or to join the team. Of course. So obviously it's the snooty Brit running the classic car sale who has to waddle away in his underpants and maybe in 11 he's going to show up and be like, remember that time you made me waddle away in my underpants? I respect that. I'm on the team. <laughs> I can bring snootiness. He's still nude. He yeah, just waddles right. up. I actually grew to love this. <laughs> There's a scene on like a Miami beach, where, you know, where all the girls are always dancing on the cars. He's there. Waddling. Just, not wadd- dancing. just waddling around the car. <laughs> as pa- Just as pasty as you like. Beautiful. I love yeah. it. Here's something else I love in this. Mm-hmm. I think the fight scenes are really good. Uh, Gina Carano has a great couple of fight scenes with Michelle Rodriguez. There's one moment where she basically just gives her a, a pair of brass knuckles <laughs> in the form of a hand cuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I enjoy all of that. There's some great hand-to-hand stuff in this, including when Han and Roman just get beat up. That's right. That's, that's great. Yeah. That's what these films are missing. Just some guys getting beaten up. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Like, remember in 2 when uh, Roman and... Uh, <laughs> they stomp that guy, yeah. Yeah, that's, they just beat him up. <laughs> but there's also the moment where Brian and Roman, yeah. uh, they, they crash their car into the boat, and they're like, Jesus, <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm in so much pain right now. Yeah. There needs to be more of that. You're right. That leans more into, like, the diehard sensibility. Yeah, of it. exactly. Like, guys who are maybe aren't the best at everything. Yeah. But they're trying their little hearts out, you know? The violence in this is now completely consequence free. Like somebody can die in one of these movies or even die in real life mm. and then still appear in these movies. Yeah. Like it's got to that point where it's it's that like somehow Palpatine has returned, but mm. for literally anybody who's ever been associated with that's this true, mo- yeah. with mm. these movies. There is some really good action stuff, like the tank bit, that's great. Busting a real tank out of a truck, like most of that is practical. There is some CGI elements. But then I think the turning point where nobody's skin comes off when they crash or dive out of a car is when Dom catches Letty. Uh-huh. On the bonnet of a car. Uh, yeah, it is like, yeah, how did you know that car would be there to break your fall? What? Family. <laughs> but like, what? And also I have, car, I have car detective vision, if you recall. <laughs> I could sense it coming. It's just a different kind of movie now, you know? I had my brain uh, connected directly to every traffic camera and traffic signal in the world. I feel them all at once. He's like Superman. You know the scene where Superman flies up into orbit and he can hear all the people's cries for help? It's that, but he can hear all like green lights and stuff. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's really cool. Braga is back. I've got that note here. Because we're like, when's Braga come back? He's in this. He's a a real bitch, Mm. basically. He's a bad guy. But he's here, isn't he, for a minute to be like, uh, you, you gave Letty memory problems or whatever. Mm. Brian's like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the way that Vin Diesel tries to court Michelle Rodriguez by doing like a magical car race together? He's like, oh, this is going to work. Or they've got matching swimming through a reef scars, like in the exact same spot. Why? I think that was probably a spear gun <laughs> sort of malfunction. Oh, like Brad Pitt's character? Yeah. When he killed his wife in that yeah, movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon Vin was probably just showing off his fresh new spear gun and he speared them both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. They had to waddle their way to an emergency apartment while nailed together. <laughs> uh, I, and to answer your question, I think it's beautiful. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What about the Nosling gun? Yeah, it's cool. It's all cool. Yeah? I think they're Why do you need Nos to fire a grappling hook, though? What about that? is better than a regular grappling hook. 
I think that's a question for Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay. Oh, let's, no, let's, let's ask him on Twitter. Let's not engage. Let's ask him on Twitter. No, he'll have. He's really pedantic. We can ask Doctor. Yep. We can ask Doctor Carl. Fine, Doctor nice Carl. For Australia's Australia's Neil deGrasse Tyson, but he's nicer. God, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He'll ruin it, Mason. Mm. He'll say something and he'll just ruin everything. You know, I do. that's how he does it. I do. But we don't need that negative energy in this review. No, we certainly this is don't. All beautiful. Yep. And the spear gun accident was beautiful, and the it was. race was beautiful, and this weird grappling hook gun is beautiful. It's all beautiful. <laughs> the moment at one hour and 41 minutes where Dom Toretto is just a human torpedo. You remember that? <laughs> yes. You remember that? <laughs> just goes, he just propels himself through the air like a torpedo and just, just headbutts a man. Incredible. Yeah. Just beautiful. Like the world's slickest and baldest dolphin. Oh my God. Even yes, more please. slick and more bald than a regular dolphin, That's Mason. right. Look at him go. Mm. Well, speaking of that finale, yes. I mean, I think that is clearly the best part of this movie. Are you sure it's not the part where it was Shaw's plan to get captured the whole time? Because the Dark Knight came out a couple of years before. I forgot that the Dark Knight came out before yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He's no. like, well, I'm, it was my plan all the time, so I get in here and get that chip. <laughs> that's just, my, that's my plan out. all the time. <laughs> that's right. That's always my plan. It's always my plan. Just get in here, walk out with a chip. Remember the Dark Knight? Yeah. I was inspired by the movie The Dark Knight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the finale takes place on the world's longest runway. That is very good. I mean, Has somebody calculated the distance of the runway? Probably. Let's sure. ask Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> well, technically, but hey, shut up. No Who are you telling him to shut up? Maybe you, I'm Mason. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, both you and your best mate, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Wow. Uh, so there's a moment also when Vin Diesel is fighting two guys and one is the giant guy. Oh, yeah. And the rock appears like he's the T-Rex at the end of Jurassic Park. Uh-huh. Like he comes in from out of frame, <laughs> but they just don't see him, even though he's like right in front of them. Yeah. I enjoy that very much. And we've definitely lost this, but Vin Diesel and the rock teaming up to do a big punch up. Mm. That's good, man. They're a, they're right. a good dynamic duo. Mm. I think this movie is missing just pair up different people. Yeah. They seem to be locked into like, okay, the Roman hacker. Roman and Ted. Roman and Ted have to like, just look at the hacker girl all day. That's just right. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> you you want to say something creepy? I'll say something creepy first, and you can say something creepy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're locked into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mix yeah. it up a little. Mm. Yeah. I like the way they finish off that giant dude with the picks him up and clotheslines him or whatever. That's a bit of fun. That's good stuff. Mm. It's also, it's clear that, like, the cracks are beginning to show with Vin Diesel and The Rock because the last conversation they have, they're standing almost parallel to each other, but not quite. Is that a sign? I think it is, Mason. Okay. It's a sign that maybe they didn't even film it on the same day. Mm. I don't know what that okay. is. Yeah, it's yeah. just very, it's a weird conversation. They probably filmed next to a dummy of the other guy, and they insisted that the dummy was significantly shorter than they were. <laughs> yeah. So they're both looking down at each other's crotches. <laughs> You might be right. Uh, To answer your question, James, maybe you could sub this in. Uh, According to Wikipedia, uh, calculations suggest that the runway is somewhere between 18.37 miles and 28.83 miles. Okay. So that's pretty long. That's as long as a standard runway, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's absolutely right. So, yeah, yeah, I take back. That's a British standard. That's exactly. If this was in Britain. Mm. So, uh, here's some more people that could come back. Oh, yes. Uh, Han dies at the end of this movie. Mm. And I feel like um, it's a very real possibility that he's not really dead, that he just wasn't in that car. Maybe he was across the street. I mean, that seems plausible. I mean, you, you, you do see him in the car. Yeah. And he's looking very much the worse for wear. Exactly, banged up. As, exactly like how you would look if you, you were in a car that gets hit by another car at speed in an intersection and it flips it. Yeah. But you're suggesting that he could just... He's not. Okay. Yeah. Now, you're not, you're not like a movie-making professional. Nah. So what if we took those ideas and we gave them to, like, millionaire writers yeah, okay. and filmmakers and we got them to, like, come up with maybe a better idea? Yeah. You reckon they could do that? They I think they think probably about... could if they thought about it a little bit. You, you've thought about it's this for, like, cuff. like, two minutes. Yeah. You've thought about this. I reckon given years yeah. they could, and millions of dollars, as I mentioned, they could probably maybe take a long weekend and think about that. Be like he had a secret brother. It was a hologram. Mm. He cut his way out through the floor like Nick Fury with yeah, that yeah, laser, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something. You see him crawl out and he goes, not today. Yeah, that's right. And he crawls yeah, yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, rescued by Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that's right. These are all good. Or whatever the British equivalent of Ninja Turtles are. They're on holiday in, no, in Tokyo. <laughs> Here's someone else that could come back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gina Carano. Nah. So you think there's a chance that she could come back, Mason? I think there's zero well, chance. Well, her and Gal Gadot both flew off into nothingness. That's true, So yeah. there, there's equal chances that, is very that they true, both actually. could come back. You're right. They don't even check for Gal's body. No. They should have because she's Giselle. alive. Giselle. There she is alive. Yeah. <laughs> They probably should have checked. Have we yeah. seen any hints thus far that she's going to come back for 10 or 11? Yeah, I think she was... 
I think they did the leaked or okay, she right. said she's in it. I don't okay, know. right, right, right. I'll tell you this much. I hope she's mad. You didn't even check. Yeah. I mean, sure, there was 28 miles of, of runway <laughs> to check. That would have taken most of the day. What, you go and get Luke Evans and you don't get me? Mm. Ridiculous. All right. You know, I love at the end how uh, Elsa Pataki, who's Vin Diesel's girlfriend until his other girlfriend comes back, mm. you know, she's just like, well, I guess I'm going to, I'm pregnant. That's for later. Mm. But I'm going to leave now. Yeah. I hope she finds love. I mean, she doesn't because she dies yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. later for, because, mm. you know. I hope she becomes sort of a, you know, a plot device. <laughs> That'd be cool, I think. Of her. I think she'd appreciate that. She seems very utilitarian. She seems very pragmatic. She's I'll be whoever like, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you need? You want me to die? Die. I have a kid and I'll die. How about that? All right? Just happy to be part of the team. Yeah, absolutely. I also feel like off the back of these last two to three to four movies that Han has been in. Yes. Imagine doing these movies. Oh, yeah. And the love of your life dies and you're jumping from car to plane to jeep and whatever. Mm, Sure. And then you go to Tokyo. Yeah. Because Fast and Furious 3 is set after these movies. Yeah. And you just watch like a car drift around a car park. <laughs> just you just smirking and eating chips. <laughs> yeah. He's seen it all. He's seen it all and he's quite he's quite zen about the whole thing, really. <laughs> What's the point of a race? It proves you're faster, that's all. <laughs> this doesn't mean anything to me. That's right. Yeah. Man, I'm you know what? You know what I'm loving about Japan? It's a, it's just a just a simpler world. I've got a flip phone and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a... I've gone back in time. Nearly a decade. Yeah, here. that's right. It's a slower pace, and I like it. Yeah. I also think, and I know they resolve it later, with Letty's memories, she's like, I don't remember anything, but it feels like home. I feel like she could just lie. Because I feel like her memories, anything outside of, like, having a barbecue and, and a car, mm. That's there's nothing else there. <gasps> Carbecue. Carbecue, thank you. That's an option for yeah. 10 or 11 if they're still filming. <laughs> You want to throw that in? Yeah, yeah, do it. I feel like they don't have any substantial memories. So she could just be like, yeah, I remember the time we... We did a drag race and then we had yeah, a family yeah. barbecue. I, yeah, sure, I remember. Yeah, I remember that the time. I remember the time I'm, I bounced off the roof of a car. Yeah. There was a grappling hook involved. I think we yeah. stole some stuff. Yeah, we stopped a guy. There was a chip. <laughs> there was a chip in a briefcase, yeah. and I think it could either hack every computer or every car or something. <laughs> yeah, and they're like story checks out, yeah. Lenny. Yeah. God, thank God you're back. Yeah, because <laughs> we'd forgot most of that <laughs> stuff as well, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, it's time for green light trivia. That's what? right. Green light trivia, Mason. Oh, because of cars? Or is this a coincidence? Maybe I'm bringing it back. Maybe I'm going to step away from green trivia and make more personalised trivias from now on, Mason. Oh, that's incredible. See how we go. Okay. We're never going to leave out the guy who shouts Rodney. That's and right. here he is. Rodney! 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 Family. So when Hobbs arrives at the barbecue, Roman remarks, better hide the baby oil, to which Hobbs replies, you better hide that big ass forehead. <laughs> Hobbs' line was improvised by Dwayne Johnson, so Ludacris spitting out his drink and Tyrese Gibson being at a loss for words are both spontaneous, genuine reactions. Now, I don't know if you've seen this, mm-hmm. but The Rock is also bald. Does The Rock think that he doesn't have a large forehead? Does The Rock think he still has hair? Is this an Emperor's New Clothes situation? (laughs) Has everybody told The Rock that he still has hair? And he's going around telling people, nice giant forehead, idiots. (laughs) Unlike me, I got the hair of Fabio. Excuse me while I put my hair in a ponytail. That's right. No one distract him. This takes like 20 minutes, but he'll get mad if you you butt in. He's platin. Yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say? Tyrese Gibson was like, I can't believe The Rock's doing like a spin-off movie or whatever. This is supposed mm-hmm. to be family. And The Rock came out, this is in real life, and reviewed Tyrese's latest rap album. Whoa. And it is. Like, you don't often hear The Rock just say something incredibly mean-spirited. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But here it is. It's the biggest piece of dog shit that I have ever heard. Everyone's laughing, by the way, but it's true because everybody's heard it too. Everyone heard it, right? They look at all, everyone's like, yeah, big piece of dog shit. Shouldn't be called Black Rose, should be called big piece of black dog shit. And I never want to hear it again and I'm never going to fucking forgive him for wasting my time. That is time I will never get back. It's like dog shit is in my ear, motherfucker. That was very mean. Now, this was actually originally conceived as two movies. Oh, yes. The first one ending with the conclusion of the tank scene and then the second ending with the plane. I'm glad they put those together. I feel the second movie would be quite short. Exactly. Because they do the tank thing and then next movie would be like 20 minutes and then... A... <laughs> Scraping people off the runway. Maybe they do an extended barbecue scene. Oh, okay. That, yeah, you yeah. know, fills in the next 90 minutes or something. Yeah. Did you get ice? Oh, I didn't get ice. Okay, do you want to get... We'll go... Do you come with me? We'll go get ice. We'll Should just... we walk? No, let's take the car. <laughs> 
You know, yeah, that I'm actually honestly, I'm a little bit tired of driving a car. Yeah, well, you know, we don't build walkable cities, so you know, it's we're driving. Don't have to take the car. <laughs> oh God, how much is parking? Damn. <laughs> uh, so during the exchange between Hobbs and Roman at the barbecue, you see a bottle of Conjure cognac on the table. Okay, who's? Cognac company is that? Exactly. It's ludicrous. <laughs> okay. It's ludicrous. Does everybody in this movie have an alcohol brand or company? Maybe. Yeah. Everybody in Hollywood has an alcohol brand. Hey, or- listen, everybody. We don't want your gin. We don't want any of your fucking bourbon or your specialised craft beers. No, no, James. No, no, enough. We don't want Mason, to- I'm, I'm putting a stop to it. James. Stop, stop doing it. James. We don't want to pay for it. <laughs> if they could send it to us, I'll take an aviation gin. I'll take a whatever cognac the thing you said. I just, I'm sick of it, Mason. Also, we'll take Think a, of something specific to you. We'll take a sports team as well. <laughs> You've all got your own sports teams now. We'll take what a... Here's a question. This isn't a piece of trivia, but it's just a question. Sure. Uh, right at the start of the movie, did Tedge install a leaf blower in that ATM? <laughs> that's, that's not how money comes out of an ATM. Nah, it's, I've seen movies. That's, that's not how it works. Yeah, that's, it sort of just drops in a little thing and you take it out. Yeah. It's not like... <laughs> although, what a fun world that would be. Yeah. ATMs worked. Also, it's blown out for like 90 seconds. How much money's in that thing? 90 seconds worth of money. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. That's how you load them, by the second. Right, so this is fun. When Letty <laughs> is with Dom... Brian and the crew. Do you mean romantically? Mm, well, I wish. Oh. When Letty's with Dom, Brian and the crew towards the end of the film, Brian approaches Letty to apologise for getting her involved with Braga and Letty's saying, I may not remember anything, but I know one thing. Nobody makes me do anything I don't want. Now, this is apparently the first time in the Fast and Furious series that Brian and Letty talk to each other directly. I know you thought this was going to be a Blue Harvest thing, but it's not. Wow. This is what I'm talking about with pairing. Why the fuck haven't these two right? people had any kind of interaction? Crazy. Crazy. Mm. Let's team them up. Let's mix it up, man. Yeah. I mean, it's too late now. Remember when Iron Man went to space with Doctor Strange and everyone went, those guys have similar beards, but they're different. Everyone <laughs> lost their minds, Mason. That's right. They're but, both catty in different ways, those two. But apparently now these movies are set up like Vin Diesel only works with like Michelle Rodriguez mm. and maybe another person. Yeah, they're yeah, They're all yeah. doing l- little separate adventures. Right, but that's, it's boring. But that's not a writer's thing. That's a certain stars do not play with other stars maybe, thing, yeah. it seems. Yeah. So what can you do? I feel like a lot of my criticisms for this movie is also like, yeah, this one's good, but these are my problems in general with movies that come after this movie. <laughs> I do like <laughs> this one. I think it's a go- it's one of the good ones. Mm. Uh, and speaking of Mason, go on. The box office for this, the budget is apparently between 160 and 260 million dollars. I'm presuming that includes marketing. But the box office return, I thought this one made a billion, but it didn't. It made 788 million for sure. Which is, I mean, it came out, you know, 2013 mm. for sh- Hobbs and Shaw. A real decade for Shaw. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And of course, this is the the, the first appearance of Deckard Shaw. Yeah. He's going to bloody, bloody be a real thorn in their side for a minute. And just to be clear, mm-hmm. he's the same height as everybody else in these movies. That's right. I don't know what anybody else has been saying about him, <laughs> but he's the same height as everybody, mm. Mason. And he has a ponytail. Everybody remember that. That's right. <laughs> All right. Next week, we're going to wrap up just these films that we've been mm. looking at yes. with Furious 7, if that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. I feel like that is really a definitive end to... Seven fasts for seven <laughs> Furiouses. You can actually see these early if you head over to BigSandwich.co, which is like our private Patreon. And that's not the only thing you'd be seeing early there. We've got bonus exclusive podcasts. We've got video game Let's Plays. We've got Roman's dick. That's right. You can have a look at it. You can look right at it. <laughs> ad free. His ad dick's free. ad free. That's right. Exactly. Mm. Also our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows every Monday. It's got its own YouTube channel on Apple and Spotify and whatever. That actually comes out there a day early on Sunday as opposed to Monday. That's right. But, you know, if you want to just check it out in the regular place, you can. Anyway, this is a good one. This is a good one. It's pretty good. Yeah. I thought I thought five. I'd look, personally. Personally. Personally? I thought five has the edge. I but agree. it's still pr- pretty good. Yeah. Bit of fun, you know? Bit of fun. Mm. Bit of fun, good times. All right, thanks, everyone. And grab that, Jimmy, guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.